What's going on, Libras? Butch Tarot here. We're gonna do one week read. It is a general read, so it will not resonate with everyone. It is for your Sun, Moon, Rising, and your Venus. Uh, all roll, all energies can be reversed. And if you're looking for a more in-depth personal read, all my information is in my description box down below, as well as my Facebook and Instagram. Um, always feel free to comment, and if you haven't already, like and subscribe. So let's get it. Universe, what do we have for Libras? What is going on with Libras? Libras. So first thing I have is there's someone around you. Um, this is somebody from your past. I feel like this is somebody that you took a leap of faith on in the past. You know, you, you went in both feet in. And I feel like in the past it wasn't moving um, forward. There wasn't a whole lot of forward movement. Actually, it was almost like it was moving backwards. Uh, you took a chance on this person, and I feel like y y you saw it going somewhere. And the reason you took a chance on this person is because you really, you really decided that this is a person that you know was worth a chance. But I feel like they let you down. Um, I feel like there was a lot of sneakiness, and I feel like this kind of. You know, you, you kind of walked away from this because of the fact that you couldn't trust them. Um, there was no forward movement. Now, I see this person coming back. And I do see them trying to show you a different side of themselves. Letting you, you know, trying to convince you that they changed with the hangman here. And seeing things in a different perspective. Um, you know, I feel like... They're telling you that they put all this work in. Um, and I feel like... I don't feel like a whole lot has changed, though. I don't feel a lot of big changes with this person. I don't feel like they've changed quite as much as they try to lay on, let on. Um, but, I, I, but I do see that they... They have made efforts. And, but, like I said, I feel like... I feel like there's still there's still sneakiness around this person. There's still something you can't trust with this person. I feel like you you've been picking that up. You know, it didn't work out in the past. I feel like they're trying to come back and, and make a you know almost make a second effort at it. But I feel like much hasn't changed. I feel like they're still hiding something from you. I feel like they're still being very sneaky. Like I said with the six of swords that in reverse, I don't feel like they made that big of changes. I feel like. They're trying to convince you that they made changes, but I don't feel like that's necessarily true. Because like I said, we have a lot of sneakiness around this person. I feel like they're very, um, you know, they, they, they're holding in something and I feel like it's not productive for you at all. I feel like this is something that you're already picking up on. But I feel like it's a hard choice because I feel like you still have feelings for this person. I feel like you still have feelings for this person and you want them to change. You're hoping that what they're telling you is true because this is something that you, you want on your behalf. But like I said, I feel like, like I said, you took a chance prior on this person and I feel like it didn't work out then and it's not going to work out now because nothing has really changed. They're just trying to come at you in a different angle. Um, trying to convince you of something that, like I said, I don't feel like they're being completely honest. I don't feel like they made a whole lot of changes. 
I feel like they're trying to convince you that they put in work and they, that their effort is there, but I feel like the only thing they're putting work in is how how they're trying to, you know, try to pull the wool over your eyes here. Because there's a lot of sneakiness around this person. I feel like the reason they're coming back is because they're, they're thinking about stability. They see you as somebody very stable. They also see you as somebody very giving, very nurturing. So it's almost like they want you to take care of them. Like I said, in the past, it didn't work out. You, you took that chance and it didn't go anywhere. There was no forward movement. There's no stability here. You know, there's no, there's no building a foundation with this person. I don't feel like it's ever really gonna go anywhere because this person is very sneaky. This person has a lot of secrets. This person is trying to convince you of something that isn't true. And I feel like the only reason you are you haven't picked up on this completely and shut this down is because you truly have feelings for this person. Sometimes when we have feelings for somebody, um, it outweighs logical thinking. Like I said, they're just trying to use you. They they see you as somebody very stable. They see you as somebody that can bring them stability. They see you as somebody giving, somebody they can take advantage of though. They're trying to take advantage of you, Libra. They're trying to convince you that there, there's this magical transformation that, that they're, they're different now and that things are gonna be better. There's no magical transformation here. They're the same person they were. And the same problems that came up in the past is the same problems gonna happen again because this person is holding something back. They're not being honest. And it, it, in the end, it's gonna it's gonna hurt your stability. There's some Taurus energy there. Like I said, this person is not. They're not being genuine. What they're hiding is, you know, the intent of what they're hiding. The reason they're hiding what they're hiding is because of the fact that they don't want to tell you the truth. They see. Even in the past, they've seen you as somebody they can use. And they're coming back because they feel like they can take advantage of the fact that you care for them. And they're going to try to convince you that they've changed. But like I said, with the Six of Swords, they haven't changed at all. And what the Hangman is telling me that they're trying to, they're trying to put on an act. And I feel like maybe their act has just got a little bit better. And that's why they're coming back again. But this is... This is not something that um, I'm not getting a lot of good vibes from this person. Like I said, this person isn't very genuine. They're holding something back. They got, they got secrets. They got hidden agendas here. And I feel like, like I said, their hidden agenda is to take advantage of you. They see how you feel about them. They know how you feel. And they're going to use that to their advantage. And like I said, they're going to take advantage of you until they can't take advantage of you no more. And then... then they're going to walk away again. Like I said, I feel like this, this had ended in the past because there was no forward movement and you started to realize that. You started to realize this wasn't going anywhere. So you, you, you got out of that situation. Now they're back. They want to convince you that they've changed. But nothing has changed except for the way they're coming at it. Their game has changed. But it's still a game to them. We have this... Six of, six of wands here. So this, this tells me that you're not going to get anywhere with this situation. This is a losing battle. At the end of the day, they'll take advantage of you till they have nothing left to take. And then they'll walk away, leaving you with the, with, with the cleanup of this mess. They don't want to build a foundation with you. Whatever they're telling you is basically to get you to believe what they're saying. They're not trustworthy. There's no good energy from this person. And I feel like, like I said, because of the fact that you had feelings for this person, your feelings are strong for this person. I can see that. But they're using that against you. They realize where they made a mistake in the past. And now they're just trying to hide that mistake 
coming back again. They're just trying to make you feel like they've changed and they've done some different things and they've grown up. None of that is true. Like I said, that Six of Swords is telling me pretty clear that they haven't made any changes. The only change here and the only thing they worked hard at is they're trying to, you know, get in your head. They're trying to use how you feel about them to their advantage. Like I said, I feel like you took a leap of the faith in the in the past and you realized that the only reason you took that leap of faith is because you truly had feelings for this person. And once there was no forward movement, you, you realized, you know, you need to step away. But now this person is back trying to convince you that they made all these changes and that they're worth your time and that they want to build a foundation, but they truly don't. They have a hidden agenda. And their intentions are not pure. They want you, they're, they're trying to convince you of something that isn't true. And like I said, I feel like they're using how you feel about them against you. And people, you know, people with bad vibes, they do that. They, they take advantage of the situation. They see you as somebody stable, somebody they can take advantage of. They feel like if they just play the game, you'll believe them. And then you'll, you know, welcome them in and take care of them. They bring no, they bring no benefit to your, to, 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 to the table. And like I said, I feel like they, they're hiding something. And I feel like what they're hiding is the fact that the, they have no real emotions towards this. They just see it as some stable, somebody they can take advantage of. And I know it's sad, but there is people out there that they know how you feel. Because I feel like in the past, you made it pretty clear. And they took advantage of you in the past. They'll take advantage of, you, advantage of you again. And the cycle will continue as long as you allow it to. So trust your intuition. And, and you know, be good. Stay safe. Um, see you soon.